Hey, Psych2Go family. We are so grateful for all of the love and support that you give us. Our mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Small mistakes can make or break a first impression. People make up their minds very quickly, and once their minds are made up, once you've made a bad impression, it's difficult to undo the damage you've done. Luckily, you can learn how to make a better first impression. But first, you have to figure out what you're doing wrong. So let's talk about 10 common mistakes that are ruining your first impressions right off the bat. One, you show up late. Have you ever waited around wondering if someone was gonna show up? Or are you the one who often shows up late? Tardiness will instantly ruin any first impression. By showing up late, you're sending the other person a message. That message says, my time is worth more than yours. Not only is that disrespectful, it can also be incredibly frustrating. To avoid being late, it's better to start your journey early. Two, you forget their name. Have you ever forgotten someone's name? This bad habit destroys any first impression. They may have just introduced themselves. You may have heard their name 10 seconds ago, but somehow their name slipped in one ear and out the other. Here's a trick to make sure this never happens to you. When someone introduces themselves, say their name right back to them. When they say, hi, I'm Jamie, you respond, hi Jamie, it's nice to meet you. By repeating their name out loud, you're not only improving your memory, you're showing this person that you're both present and attentive. Three, you use filler words. First impressions can be nerve wracking. You want someone to like you, but all that pressure can take its toll. Do you often use filler words like um, uh, and like? How often do you rely on these words to fill the pause in your sentences? Using too many filler words can destroy a first impression immediately. So instead of stumbling through your sentences, slow down. Think about what you wanna say. And remember, there's nothing wrong with taking your time. Four, you interrupt people repeatedly. Are you mindful of when and how you speak? Do you interrupt people frequently? Interrupting someone can shatter a first impression. It's important to give others time and space to express their ideas. When you talk over someone, you're conveying that your words are more important than theirs. Five, you avoid eye contact. How often do you make eye contact? Eye contact is one of the most important pieces of body language, especially when making a first impression. It shows someone that you're confident, attentive, and interested. Eye contact forges stronger bonds and allows people to connect on a deeper level. If you spend the whole conversation staring at the floor, you may want to change your body language. A lack of eye contact could be ruining your first impressions. Six, you only talk about yourself. You spend too much time talking about yourself. Many people do this without even realizing it. You may steer the entire conversation towards your life, but conversations are a two-way street. If you're always focused on yourself, it isn't fun or fair to the other person. It's okay to talk about yourself sometimes, but every conversation should go both ways. Seven, you answer your phone during a conversation. When you get a text message in the middle of a conversation with someone, do you respond to it right away or later? Calling and texting in the middle of a conversation tells people that they don't have your full attention and that can ruin any first impression. Eight, you complain too much. When you meet someone for the first time, complaining too much can be a deal breaker. Let's say you keep complaining about an ex to someone during your first date. They might think that sooner or later, you're going to complain about them too. On the flip side, when you change your perspective and view bad situations as learning opportunities, others will see you as both mature and constructive. Nine, you tell long stories. Long-winded stories can sink any first impression. If you ramble on for 20 minutes, people are going to lose interest. They're going to wonder why you're talking so much about yourself. Keep your stories brief and punchy. That way, you can get your point across without boring the other person. And 10, you don't ask questions. Does bragging help or hurt your first impression? You don't make a positive impression by explaining why you're great. You make a positive impression by forming a connection with someone. Make an effort to learn about them. Take an interest in their job, their passions, and their dreams. If you want to make a great first impression, 
ask plenty of questions. Have you ever made a really bad first impression? Do you make any of the mistakes on this list? If so, what do you plan to do differently? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to Psych2Go, and hit the notification icon for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching.